Hey, what is up everyone? Today uh, I wanted to talk about um, how to take control of your color schemes in Vim. I have been using Vim for about 15 years now and uh, it's only recently that I feel like I really have pretty good control over the color schemes I use and having availability of different types of color schemes and being able to uh, adjust the schemes that I'm given uh, quickly and efficiently. So. The first thing I want to talk about, in case there are any Vim newbies in in the house, uh, is just uh, how to how to set your color scheme at all. So, and then we'll go into some more advanced concepts about getting lots of different color schemes and how to how to alternate between them and see them more clearly than um, than you can on some of these websites where there's screenshots and whatnot. But first things first. So let me open up a JavaScript file, perhaps. Um, Right, so for the newbies in the house, if you want to see your color scheme, you can type color scheme and it'll show it to you. You can actually, I think, just type color and you'll get it too. Uh, and if you want to change that to something else, you can type space after this and hit tab. And depending on what other plugins you have, this actual layout might be the, the effect of some plugin I have, but you can kind of cycle through them. And if you want to set one, you hit enter and then boom, new color scheme. Um, and if you want to persist this, you can put this this command that you just typed into your vimrc file. So if um, here we, if I can type properly, I often cannot color scheme, right, right. So you can put something like this this line 182 here in your vimrc, and then every time you open up vim, that's the color scheme you're going to get. Um, so that's the basics. And Vim ships with, I don't know, five or six color schemes out of the box, and they do get kind of kind of stale pretty quick. Uh, even so, I think I've used those stale color schemes for about 15 years now. But recently, I was motivated or inspired, maybe it's the pandemic, I don't know, to find some new color schemes. So I did find this, uh, this Git repository, FLAS Vim color schemes. And if FLAS, you're looking, at this, thank you very much for your color scheme uh, plugin. And also, again, if there's any any uh, newbies in the house, you, this plugin jazz here is um, I'm using Vundle to manage my plugins, which lets me list the plugins I want declaratively here, and then use a command like I think it's install no plugin install, and that will take me to a new screen and plugin install all my plugins. So this helps when you go from machine to machine and uh, you want you want your whole setup the way you're used to, you can put this file somewhere accessible on a server and then um, have all your goodies with you along for the ride wherever you go. Uh, right, so let's check out this Flaz color scheme and see what's in there. Um, so if you go to the GitHub page, you'll see that there's colors directory uh, that takes you to a whole lot of color schemes. Uh, now, unfortunately, you can't really see these color schemes. And there are some sites online that give you some some screenshots of these, though they're not always the same ones. I actually couldn't find them when I was trying to prepare for this, but uh, we're going to talk about how to, how to see these more efficiently in a little bit. Um, so if you install this plugin, then you will have all these color schemes at your disposal. So this plugin itself doesn't offer ways to go between them very, uh, very efficiently. It's just using what we saw earlier, which is the color scheme um, command that's native to Vim. It does reference this page uh, right here. And this is a page where someone wrote a script, a Vim script that you could drop into your VimRC file to manage your color schemes a little more efficiently it has something called uh, if I can find it in here let's see set color yeah so it has these commands set colors uh, it has a next color etc etc but we don't want to drop this into our our vim file because it's a whole lot of cruft um, it would be cool if someone made a plugin out of this and someone actually did Felix Hummel um, 
shameless rip. I think there's no shame in this because it makes it very efficient for those of us who want to use this. So you can install this either via Pathogen or, or Vundle or any whatever plugin manager you use. And you can see that I am using the, this here, uh, this plugin. So what this does is it gives you access to um, these commands that were in that script. And so these are the ones that come. I'm going to do that again in case you weren't watching. So I can say set color. These are the colors available. If I hit enter, these are the ones that come with Vim. But if I say set color all, and I'll say set color, you can see that I have a lot more color schemes available to me. Um, now to, to see these color schemes is a bit of a a bit of a challenge to be honest. This um, this plugin or the plugin which doesn't it actually doesn't bother to document uh, the plugin because it's a rip of this script and the documentation I guess is still in the script. Be cool maybe one of you or maybe myself would make a uh, a pull request to this plugin here to put the actual documentation in the plugin. Uh, code itself because who knows how long this will stay around. But anyway, it has a really cool um, command called next color, which lets you see the next color. I think it's alphabetical. It just takes the color scheme that you're currently working with um, and gives you the next one in the list. So if I call this, if I can spell it right, next color, next, oh. Maybe he called it something else. One moment. Oh, interesting. Oh, right. So it's a function. So you have to call next color. It's not an actual command, and this that's kind of beyond the scope of this of this uh, demo. But I'm going to go ahead and call next color like this as a function, and not enough arguments included. So yeah, this is actually. Not something I've been doing by hand. So it looks like you pass an argument into this. And to be honest, I don't do with this. So it says how, oh, it's, I guess it's shifting by how many. And then the color. All right, good. So I'm showing you this the manual way, but I actually don't use it the manual way, obviously, because I can't even do it. Um, so let's try this again. Call next color with a zero and I think that's shift by maybe one place you can look it up anyway you get a next color and so you can kind of keep going up and see the colors available to you this way um, but that's a bit tedious so what I went ahead and did um, next color let me get to the right file next color so I went ahead and made myself a little um, kind of a shortcut using the leader, which is a comma for me and NC. So when I'm in a, in a file, I can call comma NC and I will get the next color. Now granted, I didn't make it so fancy that I can actually see the color that it's moving to, but um, I can kind of shift through these colors. And if there's one I like, then I will go ahead and say color scheme and see what that color is. So turtles. Um, so that's that's kind of the basics of, of how I went about getting a bunch of different color schemes and being able to move between them and kind of explore them uh, and something you might want to do. And um, the last thing I wanted to to show you that it took me a, a, quite a while to figure out, too long, honestly. Let's uh, see if I can get back to my VimRC file. Uh, do you see it? Do you see it? I don't see it. Let's open it up again. Vim. Let's do, uh, there we go. Um, right, so I often just set my color scheme like this, but now that I found all these cool color schemes, I kind of want to use them uh, more often, and, and I, I've noticed that just having a little bit of variety and not really knowing what color scheme my editor is going to open up to um, just adds a little bit of freshness to what can sometimes be a, a tedious day. So what I was able to figure out um, is that I can keep a list of the color schemes that I happen to like right here in a variable. This is a list and, and Vim script. Um, and so tort dark to Ublo and snake. 
Um, and I, this is kind of some, some coding acro acrobatics, but this is a list and I'm going to take a random element of this list using the random function. And I'm going to scope that to the length of my color schemes list. So there's four of them in there, but I can't use the number four because that would, because we need, we need the actual element number. So we want it to go from zero to three and not one to four. So we subtract one. Either way, you're welcome to use this. And so this, this, this lets me, whenever I open up my editor, it will give me one of these random color schemes. Uh, and there's probably fancier or better ways to do this, but this is, this is what I got for now and it seems to be doing the trick. Um, I think one of these plugins, maybe, maybe this one here has a way to just get an, a random color, but I kind of prefer dark themes and, uh, I don't want it to be a completely random color. I want it to be just, uh, random colors among the colors that I would like to see. So. Let's go ahead and give this a give this a test drive. Um, so I'm going to open up the file, and so this is my color scheme, dark to. Let's close this. Let's open it up again, and this time I get uh, what is this? Ublo. I, I this is kind of like a Super Mario Brothers color scheme, which is pretty cool. Um, so that is, um, that's mostly all I wanted to talk about. And there's one, there's one other thing that I found really helpful. I use folding a lot. I don't know if you guys use folding, but if you change, um, if you change to enough color schemes, you can see something like this. See how these, see how the folds here are like surprisingly not subtle <laughs> elf lord. And um, I find this really annoying. So I did make another function that lets my folds be pretty subtle. I've noticed that color schemes sometimes maybe not even, they don't even take into account the folds because a lot of people don't use them. So I have found it really helpful to make a function and I call it gray folds. And I can call it from anywhere that kind of lets my folds um, be much less uh, kind of obtrusive like they just were. And um, let me call another color scheme next color. Yeah, this is another scheme that has like really annoying color uh, fold colors. So in case this is of interest to you, gray folds. And again, I am not a VimScript expert. I just kind of do enough to get by. Uh, so I'm sure there's people in the comments who can write um, <laughs> A better way to do this. I actually now know I can make this function call a um, a command and just call gray folds without saying call. But basically, it's just a function. You call it whatever you want, and then I'm setting the the GUI foreground color, and I'm setting the uh, GUI background color to none. So it's it'll match whatever screen, whatever background color your color scheme is using, <clears throat> and set those folds to something pretty unobtrusive. Anyway, I hope this has been useful for you guys. Um, I have benefited a lot from people talking about their setups, and I figure I'm old enough now that I should be giving back and hope someone finds this useful. And feel free to offer me suggestions and or corrections in the comments, but be nice. Um, and, and that's all I got. Um, take care.